Here we go. This is Ann Ray coming to you live from San Francisco, California with one of my students in the from the Making Art Making Money semester who's also from down under. It's like Australia. tomorrow. Is it tomorrow where you are? Tomorrow I think in four hours earlier than it is here. Yeah. Four hours ago tomorrow. Yeah. Very confusing. So thanks for taking the time. Um, I asked Sam to Sam, Sh Sh is it Shannon? It's Shannon, right? Yep. Yeah, Shannon, Sam Shannon, to just share a few things <clears throat> because um, he's learned a few things. I'll start by asking oh, yeah. what I always ask, <clears throat> which is simply before you enrolled in the making art, making money semester, Sam, what was your what was your biggest challenge when it came to selling your art? It's like one uh, sentence. Biggest, what do you think your biggest challenge was? The biggest challenge was finding um, an audience for the people who were into it and actually selling it. Like I was finding an audience, but I wasn't finding an audience to sell to. So sort so of just throwing a lot of content out and getting no results. Okay. Spinning my wheels a lot. Spinning your so not an original problem. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. And so um, we're going to talk a little bit about what you shared um, in a bit, but I'd also like you to share what your biggest takeaway has been so far in the Making Art, Making Money semester? Um, the biggest takeaway, the thing that like applies the best to like other parts of my life as well has been the smarter goals thing. Like that's just been so good to start smashing out other things in your life and just putting in a, a time limit on it. So yeah. rather than having a nebulous, like something I'll achieve in the future going, all right, no, I've got to get done by this time and like take the positive steps towards it. Yeah, smarter goal. So uh, smarter goals are really key to success, no matter what you're doing, whether you're an artist trying to sell your work or anything in life. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Um, and smarter is an acronym for specific. Is S M is measurable, A is actionable. Result is the, is it the goal of the is it the result you want if you accomplish this goal? Yeah. T stands for time bound because the task takes as long as the time you allot. So if you just, if you don't put, give yourself a due date, then you have never ending, you just have never ending effort and perfectionitis and it never gets done. Yep. <laughs> and ER stands for evaluate and revise if necessary. So a revise if it's something smarter you can do. So to that point, the reason I asked Sam, um, to speak with me and to everybody else was he just he made this really brilliant post that I just thought was fabulous and it just made me so happy for you um, because you didn't enroll you know like you did a lot uh, based on the time you enrolled and here's what if I may read it may I read it Sam yeah go for it so it says making progress explanation point last year I made every three month goal I set for myself including traveling to North America for five months, losing 14 kilos <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> for Americans. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a lot. <laughs> 28, so 30 or something? 30 pounds? 30 pounds? Damn. Yeah. You know, it's so yeah. funny because Anne Vernon also said she lost weight after she enrolled in this semester, but I said, I can't really mention that. That's a really big... It's like implying that you lose weight if you try. <laughs> what, a, what a great perk. I know. Hey, but he did. You did, right? Okay, yep. so, so did Anne. And paying <laughs> off my credit card debts. Damn, that's huge. This year I added some stuff to my dream map. So for those who are not aware, we have, my students make dream maps in the Making Art Make Money semester. Um, so he added some things to that within a week within a week has all happened in real life. Money and lifestyle and art are all lining up for me at the moment. Spooky, awesome coincidences are the results of faith in the universe to provide opportunities once you know what you want from it. That's the most important thing you wrote right there. Once you actually yeah. know what you want from it. Um, and that ties directly to having specific goals. Then Sam said, I really need to think deeper and need to set bigger goals and achieve them. Yes, that is so mm -hmm. true because now you know you can do it. You don't want to think small. You want to think big. Yeah. Huge. And then <clears throat> Sam wrote, I really need to think. Uh, oh, a familiar quote comes to mind. I love this quote, by the way. Our Deepest Fear by Marianne Williamson, Williamson from A Return 
to love. As a matter of fact, Tony Robbins just read this when I was oh, really? in Florida to a group of um, students in his bus business mastery program. He read this exact quote. So listen up, because he's pretty smart. Um, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Amen, sister. We are all Amen. meant to shine as children do. We are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. True. As we are liberated from our own fear, our, present automa our presence automatically liberates others. So glad you chose that. It's such an empowering quote. I love that quote. And I just heard it. So, so your biggest takeaway so far is about having goals. And you also, just recently, we put together your four-part code for you. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, yeah. feeling so much more like focused, I've got direction, and yeah, like yeah, a like massive relief. relief. Got, what's like, relieving uh, about it? What is it make, what it, what's, what's different? Uh, like the clarity, like understanding that um, even though I was saying this to one of the study partners the other day, it's like, even though I don't know what to do at all, I know exactly what to do. So like there's, there's clarity in like, oh, but like I've got a very clear direction. It's yeah. So, you know, if you just know very specifically what you want, if you know what you want to accomplish, the how you're going to get there starts to become evident by you taking action. And you might take action towards creating it and it doesn't work. But that then becomes the lesson for the next action you have to take. And so you have to really embrace falling on your ass quite a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you'll get there. The point is just don't ever give up and have clear direction. If you, there, I see a lot of artists who don't have focus, who don't have a specific goal, yet they're taking massive action, and then they become frustrated, which is what you alluded to when we started this call that you didn't have a focus on who your audience was, so you were kind of spinning your yeah. wheels and spending a lot of time online. And what were you yeah, doing exactly? Oh, I was listening to like business podcasts, like design business podcasts. I was like reading books, like studying everything. Going in like one year, I was in 24 exhibitions in a year and still was barely making any sales out of it all but like wouldn't letting it stop me so it's just like really like hustling really hard all the time but just not really getting much traction in any so, of it. So that, that's a testament to your ability to take action but now hopefully it's smarter you know and as you gain more experience you'll get smarter and smarter and smarter it's like it's just yeah. never ending it's an iterative process. Yeah, and the opportunities start to pop up too because like like I said once you get your goal in mind then like you just things happen that you can't control that just pop up and like help you get to where you're trying to get to. Yeah. I think the biggest, th biggest thing too is you knowing your mission, which is number two in the four part code. Yeah. And then you can play with the how you can play with the how, but you got it. You got you to gotta be rock solid in your purpose, your creative purpose, and then your mission. And then you're kind of like good to go after that. So I'm really, very proud of your effort. You're like, you don't have any confusion. I swear to God, sometimes artists will make it hard because they think it needs to be hard. But yeah, it was so simple. <laughs> right? <laughs> once, once I got to the end, like I had, I was struggling with it before Christmas and then had to take a little break because I was just getting like frazzled by the whole thing. And then, yeah, I spoke to you the other day and it was just like, duh. <laughs> All right, so let me just ask you one last question. If yep. you could speak to someone who's considering enrolling in the Making Art Making Money semester or applying, because you can't just enroll, but applying to enroll, yep. and they're sort of sitting on the fence, and they're not sure that they're going to get anything out of it or what they're not going to get what they need, what would you say to them? 
I'd say just do it. The cost of not doing it is ridiculous. Like you'll be sitting there trying to do free stuff. You're trying to do like other things. You'll like maybe try a bunch of different courses from random places and they'll all add up to spent money that you, once you do this, like, cause you have to pay off the course to finish the course. So right. that'll force you to actually finish it. And then like, it's just waste of money to not do it. Cause you're going to spend time, effort and then look back say if you, then you did commit it in the future and you look back and go, Oh, why didn't I do that? Like a year ago. I should, well, I could have been more that, like, than money is a waste of time because you can recover the money. You can't recover the time. Yeah. And then, and, once and then what you also it. just it, just mentioned is I have a new requirement that is that my students are required to earn back their tuition investment in order to officially graduate from the making art making money semester. And I wouldn't make that stipulation if I didn't think you could do it. I think you if you follow the if you study, if you grasp the concepts and you take action, there is no reason why you can't earn significantly more than your tuition investment and kickstart your business as a result yeah, of the sure. final project. Yeah, and the um, understanding your mission is, or understanding like your why is like way more valuable than any money part of it because that just gives every part of your life way more direction and clarity. Doesn't it? It's pretty, it's yeah. pretty, um, so many people I think are really hungry to know what their purpose is. And it, it's because that people are, I think, I believe innately generous and want to be of service but they're just not sure how to go about doing that. They don't know what their purpose is, but everything, everything that you talked, you know, led up to you determining your purpose served a very specific lesson and it had meaning and it had significance. And now that you're aware of it, you're going to be able to channel that into your art, into your, in such a positive way. And you will serve people, which is, you know, I mean, that's the best. I think any better than that. Yeah, for sure. Or you could keep exhibiting. How many exhibits did you do? That one year I did 24. So it was like more than one, more than two a week. Sam, you're a better man than I am. <laughs> that was an insane year. Wow. That is insane. Well, I just want to thank you for um, taking the time out of your busy day to chat with me and to share what you've learned and congratulate you and just tell you you're not done. Thanks. You are just getting started. Oh, yeah, just warming up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam. Awesome. Have a good one, and I look forward to seeing your progress in the Facebook group. Fantastic. Thanks, Anne. Right. See ya. Bye.